up everybody how are we doing today how are we doing sorry i thought well, i wasn't paying attention my mic's over here i've got all these like mcdonald's drinks mate is this oh my god is this working is my mic still on yeah yeah how are we doing guys how are we doing i need to all right i'm gonna go back a bit it's like not the the lead the lead it's plugged into is just like there we go, there we go. Alright guys, hey guys, how are we doing today? I'm hiding my face, there we go. I need to read chat. Uh, let me read chat real quick. Let me see, there we go, there's chat. Uh, and then if I put OBS over there, I can see my face over there. Perfect, perfect. Brandon Brindle, it's good to see you man. What's up brother? Good to be back in the live stream again. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I've seen you in the well. You've been you've been part of the live streams for a very long time. I always remember the faces. Um, SS. I don't know. I don't know about SS. I'm not sure if, if I've spoke to SS before. Hey Zorro. That's a, that's a pretty sick name. Uh, Gab Gabriel Gabriel Gabriel. Um, Jorm de Worm. Is Jorm de Worm here, or is that? Or did he put that in, in a message earlier on? I don't know. Anyway, guys. Today, <clears throat> the idea of this video is to sort of... Oh, by the way, I have my hood up because my hair's a bit messy. I didn't have time to put myself together too much. So just bear with me, you know. But the plan for today is to sort of just have a real think about Assassin's Creed Infinity based off of what we've seen or the information that we got. I know I did make a video on it recently, but I didn't go into my thoughts as in-depth as I could have. Because that video was kind of the the aim for that video was more to just give you guys the information. It, it it served to give the information and sort of reflect on that a little bit. But yeah, today I want to kind of go back over that information and just sort of yeah really have a think about how it could impact the series, impact gaming on a wider scale, the whole industry, and sort of predict what we might see, how microtransactions might evolve from live services. And stuff like that. That's the idea. And obviously, we'll take in your guys' thoughts. We'll I'll read the chat, and we'll get a conversation going. Um, so that yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. We'll, we'll fully get into it once uh, a few more people uh, are watching. But uh, yeah, that's how's everybody doing? You guys good? I'm good. I'm very good. It's good to be back streaming again. I'm gonna definitely try and make it as regular as I can. Obviously, we did the last one last week. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the next one. You know, next weekend, or it might be the weekend after. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna promise every week, but if I can, I will. Like if if I have the chance to do it every week, I will do it every week. But if I might, I might miss a weekend. I might not. You know, it it will be what it will be. Um, <clears throat> oh, hidden one. I didn't know you're in it. How you doing, man? How you doing? Um, got some, got some McDees, Mac 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 I see. Yeah, I do. We we me and Chloe. Chloe doesn't want to talk. She's busy doing her own thing. But we, uh, literally, I got home from work at, like, 5.30. Well, I finished 5.30, got home at, like, 6. Chloe came over, and um, we both hadn't had dinner. But I had to sort out a thumbnail, and I had to uh, do some YouTube stuff. And then as soon as I finished that, we, like, ran over to McDonald's, which is, like, it's probably 10 minutes, maybe, from here, if you walk at a fast pace. Nah, maybe less than 10 minutes. And we went in there, and they took ages. They weren't reading out our number. I, I was number 59. We were waiting in there. It was all on the screen, all the numbers. And they kept going, like, 58, 67, 71, guest number 33. I was like, oh, my God, bro, when's our food coming? I was looking at the time. Oh, again, so apologies for being, like, two minutes late. It's because I was, I was like, scranning my McDonald's as quick as I could. Um, but, yeah, eventually it came, and here we are. And I don't know why I do this. I, well, I do know why, because I, I always find that I finish my drink before I finished eating, and then I'm like, I need another drink. So I always get my, my large Coke Zero, and I, I'll get a little medium Coke Zero as well. And I haven't, I haven't tackled the medium yet. Um, <clears throat> doing great. Good to hear Hidden One. Uh, that's a lot of McDonald's. It wasn't that much. It wasn't that much. It, it's two drinks, man. It's not like it's two larges. Um... I'm kind of new to the AC community, but I already love your content. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I mean, I don't know if you're talking to me or Hidden One, but uh, if you're talking to me, I appreciate that. 
Yeah, you are a new name. Uh, uh, D- Gabriel, Gabriel, let me know how, how I pronounce that. Because if you're going to return on streams, I want to say your name right. <laughs> um, we got Military Sloth. I don't know if I said hello to Military Sloth already or not, but they are a, a classic Exile live stream member. Um, uh, I think I missed someone who I noticed their name. I can't see it anymore, though, and I can't remember who it was. Was it Cats? Cats Z or whatever. Cat Z, whatever it is. I can't remember. Anyway. Why? What is Chloe talking about? She's just... I made her a moderator as, like, a joke because she's, she's like, on her phone. I was like, shall I make you a mod of the, uh, of the live? And I'm like, you, but you cannot time anyone out and ban anyone. And she's just saying some weird shit. Uh, he throw up. What, what, who? Have you tried combining every drink from McDonald's? When I was, like, eight years old, I used to do... Not in McDonald's, but in, like, restaurants and stuff where you have all of the machines in a row. Like, you go up and you fill your drink. You push it into the thing. It comes out. When I was, like, eight years old, I'd be running around mixing them all together, like Fanta, Sprite, Coke. I'd be mixing them all together, and it would go all brown, and it would taste disgusting, but you'd think it's hilarious. So I used to. I think I'm a bit old for that now, though. That being said, if I had the opportunity, I think I might. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I think, I just did your poll, oh yeah, I do, I, I, I do throw up a lot of polls. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into the, uh, this, the, the, the meat of the conversation, let's just get into it. One thing I will say is, I want to, it's obviously a normal stream where we, we all chat together and I give my thoughts, but I kind of want to structure this more as like a podcast kind of structure, just because I feel like, you know, People might find this in the algorithm after the uh, after the video is is has gone up, and I think it would just be good to structure it a bit better than what I usually do. It's kind of all over the place. Let me move these out of the way. Move that out of the way. So yeah, I th- I've got some points on that I've got for myself to look at, and I'll just go through them as it is, and we'll we'll just see what happens. And it's all about sort of things I wanted to talk about with AC Infinity. So as I said, I want to start by structuring it in a in a podcasty long form video kind of style. So even though a lot of you guys know what AC Infinity is, I want to just start by explaining, reiterating what it is. Sip first. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Assassin's Creed Infinity, <clears throat> although we haven't seen any of it yet, we've only heard rumors, leaks, information given by Ubisoft. It's a live service, and if you don't know what a live service is. When it comes to video games, how how do I even word that? It's it it is what it is. It's a service. It's an always online service involved around being well. What AC Infinity is? It's a it's a hub. It's a, it's a it's a live hub that's online to to have and contain all of its games. And from there, there'll be a store, and you'll be able to buy outfits, probably DLCs, weapon packs bonus one hour quests for your game here and there maybe stuff like that and that's essentially what assassin's creed infinity is again if you want to look at uh live services as an example that's out right now um there's obviously suicide squad which is the most recent example whether you say that's a good example or a bad example i think it's not that i think it was executed well but it's a good example of what we might see with assassin's creed infinity something around those lines but i do think ac infinity is going to be a lot deeper um i also want to explain how it will work which i kind of already just did you're going to log into your to your hub i need to get chat i haven't got the chat up because i'm reading this if i i'm just splitting my screen here there we go i can read everybody now and i will get to all what you're saying in the chat as as i go um where was i yeah, it will. You'll you'll sort of in my mind. Let's say you're on a on a PS5. It will show Assassin's Creed Infinity and Assassin's Creed logo. It will say AC Infinity as if you're in a game. You'll press X to to to, to start the uh, the game, and it will load up a sort of hub type area, a launcher if you will, and you're it'll be like you're in a game in a sort of main menu. And I think it will be a very sort of minimalist simplistic sort of tiles you know almost like steam big picture mode or something like i'm just guessing it but and i feel like you pick your games from there you can go across you know it'll be very an animus themed ui hub area to to choose your games almost as if you're choosing to replay a mission in ac 
Brotherhood or Revelations. I imagine it might be something, you know, that looks a little bit like that. And, uh, yeah, essentially that's where all the games will be that are going ahead. And probably they'll put the older games on there as well. So that's essentially what Assassin's Creed Infinity is, again, for the people that don't know. Now, and, that, and that's, that's essentially, I keep saying essentially, that's, that's guessing, that's gonna, how it's going to work. Um, now, I've written on my document here how, why, could, why it could be bad. So I think that's the next point we want to talk on. Like, why is it a worry, potentially? Why is it, why could it be something negative for the series and uh, in turn for the gaming industry? And obviously, whatever I say, you, if you guys disagree, you can let me know in the chat and we'll get a little conversation going. Um, anyway, let me read the chat before I, we, we carry on. Uh, G Gabriel, Gabriel says, it's just G Gabriel, Gabriel, I still don't know, in English, although I'm Dutch, but I like the content of both of you. Nice. Uh, you should try eating a banana with Sprite. Tasty. Oh, yeah, I bet, mate. I I I've heard about that. I heard about that from YouTube in 2013. Um, so the AC Infinity Hub is basically like Fortnite. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be something very similar. And I wouldn't be surprised if Ubisoft have, have looked at thing, games like Fortnite to see how they do it for, for research. Uh, yeah, they definitely did that. They definitely did that, I think. Um I've played Assassin's Creed since the beginning, and like many in the community, wanted a game set in Japan for the longest time. I'm just worried about it launching as part of a live service hub. Now that's something, that, that, that makes me think of one thing that I will get into actually from here. And this was brought to my attention, I didn't even think about this, but this was brought to my attention by, I think it was John D. Worm in the comments. And he said... How are the physical gonna? How are physical Assassin's Creed games gonna work? Because if they're all part of this live service, is it gonna be digital only? Yeah, I think it probably will. I I feel I feel like maybe gone are the days that we'll get a physical copy of Assassin's Creed at this point. Um, because yeah, you I I mean I guess you can get a physical copy of Fortnite. I can't you? I don't even know. Um, I think you can, and uh, within there you play, get all these different game modes and stuff. So I wonder if. You might be able to buy AC Infinity on disc, maybe. And then from there, you can get the games. I, I, I'm guessing here. I have no idea. What do you guys think? It's a bit of a shame if you are a you know, physical game collector, which I'm getting more. I'm getting back into being a physical game collector now. I wasn't for years. I used to be as a kid, obviously. As a kid, you just buy games from second hand from the store. And I st as I got a bit older, I just downloaded everything. But now I, you know, now I'm back. I used to play on PC for years, but now I'm back on PC. But I've got consoles as well. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to collect them more, and I, I, you can't see. Maybe I'll show you guys in a minute. But I have all my game collection in there. It's not massive, but I've got maybe a hundred games or something. Um, so it's like I, I kind of, I'm gonna miss that when, when, when they do digital only games and again Assassin's Creed Infinity I'm guessing is probably going to be a completely digital landscape if you if you will I wonder how that's going to go and again I feel like that is a worry because if you don't physically own your game the the question is do you really own the game even if you pay for it do you own it because you know time and time again we've seen games that people have paid for on the PlayStation store the Xbox store probably even Steam um, get taken down for one reason or another. Maybe the company goes under, um, they lose the licensing, you know, stuff like that. And the game has to be removed from from uh, stores. And, and if you haven't got it downloaded, maybe you can't download it again, etc, etc. And you never know what's going to happen. Maybe the PlayStation or Xbox Store or Steam uh, goes down at some point. Maybe it'll go down for a month. I'm, it probably won't, but imagine it does. You can't download any of any your games. So then, do you really own the game? You know, it's, it's, it's a very big question. And I think that's why physical games are so still so important because you buy that physical game, you own it, and you can play it without Wi-Fi in most cases. Um, and you you have that sort of uh, what's the word? You have that confidence that you do own that game. I know that uh, a lot of games you buy will be, 
you know, requiring extra downloads. It's not really all on the disc. Yeah, I get that. But um, I feel like my point still stands in most cases. Like, if you if you buy it online, you buy it digitally, yeah, you do own it technically, and I'm sure you have a right to that in whatever case, and I'm sure you can get compensation if anything happens. What's that weird noise? Do you hear that? Some weird noise going on. I don't think you guys can hear it, though. Anyway, so yeah. Um, I think Infinity has a great potential, but knowing Ubisoft, it's probably not going to be as good as we hope. Yeah, I mean, it depends on, on the your, your view of, of, of like, the future of, of gaming. You know, some people applaud the idea of a, of a live service, and some don't. User unknown, how you doing? So, it, it very much depends on how you see things. Like, part of me thinks it's a really cool idea, a big hub to have all these games. It's very accessible for the player. Uh, it could it could even be immersive because if it is themed all around the animus and etc, you know that sounds cool. But again, it's all about the execution and how they do it and how how much of a of a business are they trying to make this? Obviously, you know, knowing Ubisoft a lot and, I, and to an extent, I get that because if you're a business, you've, you you're there to make as much money as you can. You're not there to just do things for fun. Um, but again, knowing what there's, there's a there's a balance though to it, you know. There's you got your developers that are very passionate about what they make, and then you got your your um your executives <clears throat> that aren't gamers. They don't care about the consumer. They're there to okay, how many sales can we drive? What does the market uh, research data suggest, etc. And they can sometimes muddy the waters. And I feel like if it, obviously you need executives in the company to make these decisions, but I feel like if there weren't these executives within the company to make these decisions, we wouldn't have an Assassin's Creed Infinity, we'd just have a new game. So, again, how egregious is Infinity going to be with microtransactions? And what are those microtransactions going to be? Are they going to be, you know, purely cosmetic that you can buy if you want, like a fort like a Fortnite skin? You could buy skins or outfits, costumes, whatever you want to call them, or you could buy weapons that go as a as a skin onto the, your existing weapon. So you still you could still unlock the weapon, get the stats. But if you want it to look cooler, you want it to be on fire, you want you want Lord Sauron's armor, then you can buy that. Is it just going to be that stuff, or is it going to be, you know, um, to unlock the second part of the game? It's an extra thirty. Uh, dollars or whatever or i could see that being a thing by the way as well like two part games split into two parts both being like 30 to 40 pounds dollars whatever each um and that's and that, to be fair that's another thing infinity might might be there to do to make money because not to make money of course but to make more money than it could by just selling a game as it is because if you're on your own sort of live service that people are already part of that want the new game i feel like it's much easier they have much more uh means to be able to sell it for whatever they want in whatever way they want you know you release two physical copy like imagine Mara or valhalla was split into two parts it's it's they, they had the game made but they just sliced it down the middle and they put one part on one disc another part on another disc for you know five four months later and they sell each one for fifty dollars each um, as a physical copy, that might be a harder thing to do, and there might be a lot more controversy. Whereas, if you do that on a live service where it's all digital, can they get away with doing these things more, which makes more money? Now, part of me understands that route when it comes to doing that, because uh, you know, the more time, the more ex games are getting more expensive to make. They're getting way more expensive, and companies are making losses they're laying people off they're, they're they're not making returns on these big budget games these big triple a or as ubisoft are now saying quadruple a games uh you know the, the, okay with ubisoft they've been they've been making a lot of money but on a on a wider scale in general for the gaming industry 
these big budget games will be coming out, and, and a lot of companies haven't been making their returns, like Sony and Xbox. You see Xbox, they just, they're just changing things up so much because what they're doing right now doesn't seem to be profitable uh, in the long run, and they do think ahead a lot, Xbox. They, think, they, they do like to think years and years ahead, so they probably don't see themselves being profitable uh, be it, you know, at, in the first party way that they are at the moment, and that's why they're trying to branch out to get in their exclusives on PlayStation, and um, hopefully one day, I'm sure they're hoping to get Game Pass on PlayStation, Switch, and stuff like that, because there's more money in that for them. So, Ubisoft might be trying something similar. Let's, you know, not exactly similar, but, you know, let's release this live service where we can release things on a regular basis. That is that constant flow of money. We are not might not be releasing a game for a year, but what we can do is we can maybe drop a, a texture pack for an older game for five dollars that might be a, a wild uh example that probably may, might not be you know might not be likely but what i'm saying is they could drop game modes they could drop all these things in this live service that they might not be able to do otherwise or do or might not have been able to do easier otherwise if that makes sense uh in this live service that's obvious we know that that we we know that's the idea of a live service to make more money to say more stuff they're not doing it out of the kindness of their heart, so it's easier for us to play. They're doing it because they know this is this is the way they think they should go to make as much money as they can. So, could games suffer for that? And, and and I suppose that's the big question. That's the main question. Could the games suffer for it? And that, and I and I will get we will get onto that. But I will read the chat because I need a little breather. Um. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> uh. Uh, what are we what are we saying? Um, I think Infinity has great potential. Oh, I've read that. Can't wait to see Altair and Ezio hit the gritty on Cassandra and Eivor in the in AC Invictus. Literally, bro. I, I, I it sounds funny, but I wouldn't even be surprised. <laughs> Hopefully, the modern day slash the future of Infinity uh, will have to do something to do with that weird scene from Mirage. Maybe uh, that could have been cut content that they scrapped and they took it out of the game because they went a different direction, though. Uh, but yeah, it could be. Brandon says, what do you think of the Altair costume in Mirage? I think it looks cool, but the hood looks ridiculous. Uh, it doesn't have the fingerless gloves and the cloth physics is shit. <laughs> I mean, it's a completely different character model, completely different engine, you know. Um... I don't really, I don't really know what to say about that. Yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, um, I'll leave that for the rest of chat to decide or to reply to. Guys, when will we see AC Red leaks? I mean, we've already seen potential leaks. Potential leaks. Is this a is this a stupid place for my ring light to be? I feel like it is. Can I move it? I might see if I can just move it around here so I get a bit more light coming on me. Maybe might be a better idea. Uh, how? What am I doing? What am I doing? <coughs> but now this is in the way. Um, alright. Oh, <laughs> TF. Man. Is that better? Does that work better? I'll have to go a bit further back because, uh, I've literally got a wire going across my lap now. But I think that makes more sense. I don't know why I had it behind me. It's a bit stupid, really, isn't it? Um, oh, God. Okay. So, what's the chat saying? I was reading the chat, wasn't I? Um, they've already split up DLCs in more parts. Uh, though I believe they didn't make us pay again for part two and part three. Was that Valhalla? Because I don't, I didn't play the, uh, I played the Siege of Paris DLC, that was it. I didn't, I didn't play the Ragnarok one, or whatever it was called. Was it called Dawn of Ragnarok? Yeah, I, di I didn't play that, so I don't know how they split that up. Or was that Fate of, that was Fate of Atlantis part one and two, wasn't it? I didn't play that either. Mm. Let us pay for more parts of the base game, I mean. Oh, what? Uh, don't know. Uh, I really hope they wouldn't do. I'm, I'm just could getting confused as hell. Um, if it's just cosmetics, I don't mind about microtransactions. John D Worm says, "Yeah, I mean, 
I, when it comes to microtransactions and I have said this in videos but I don't know if all of you've seen I won't go in too much detail but I think when it comes to Ubisoft at least you know any type of microtransaction I think is a little bit sus a little bit dodgy because any like the big executive don't see the difference between a time saver microtransaction you know that's something that um is mechanically woven into the game to make you want to buy these microtransactions or a cosmetic one the executives just see the word mtx probably on a spreadsheet um they don't know the difference they're not gamers so any whether it's cosmetic or whether it's a xp boost where it, where in the game xp is really hard to come by to sort of really incentivize you, you to buy these and it, and making it almost pay to win the executives probably don't care for the difference between a cosmetic and a pay to win M, uh, microtransaction and that wh why every microtransaction in a ubisoft game worries me is because if a ton of people buy a load of new outfits um they can say oh well, look microtransactions are selling really well all right what should we do in the next game to really incentivize people to keep buying them oh let's throw a load of time savers in there and make it very pay to win and that's fine in a free to play game like Invictus I hear I we hear I think if I'm if I'm not mistaken is a is free to play if you want to chuck microtransactions in a free to play game then you, that's I think that's completely fair enough because you ha it's free and you got to make money on it so I get that but when I, when you've already paid for a game you've given them your money and you've thought okay I've, I've bought this product you don't uh you know you I don't know if you guys can hear that, but some car alarm's going off. Oh, it stopped. Okay. You don't expect to uh, to have to pay for more and to be forced to. You might be, you know, that's the whole idea of it. And I was really distracted by that car alarm going off. I was going to, I was really leading on to something there. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, it might come back to me. Uh, I'm surprised Tom Henderson didn't talk about the clip he saw other than how he showed the user going from infinity to red But didn't mention any gameplay details. He could have potentially seen yet. Well, I think uh, I, I know I keep saying this at the moment But I, don't, I keep saying it because it's very it's very uh, valid at this point in time with all the things we're hearing uh, obviously, I think Ubisoft you know, deliberately sends out their leaks to their trusted creators to get the hype going, etc, etc, etc. So, uh, obviously we know they showed them this and they knew that, they obviously Ubisoft knew they were going to make an article on it. That was the whole idea. But they probably just said to them, look, we, we don't want you talking too much about how the game's going to look yet. Um, we just want you talking about Infinity. We just want to get the information of Infinity out there. Uh, and, and, and I wouldn't be surprised, this is only a, a, a guess, but I wouldn't be surprised if Ubisoft, you know, wanted to go over the uh, Tom Henderson's article multiple times to make sure the information was okay to put out, you know. So they probably, maybe Tom Henderson did mention what AC Red looks like. Oh, AC Red looked like this and da 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 da. And they might have said, we don't want you talking about that yet because we are going to, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll drip feed that information out to our trusted user partners and yourself. In the next few weeks but right now we just want infinity talked about it could be something like that because i yeah i do think they want the focus on there it might even just to be for research to see the community reaction to this to see what what does the community think about it are they happy are they are they annoyed by what they hear and maybe they'll change things based on that and again that's why it's important to talk about these things if you don't like it or you think uh it's you know it's a bad thing that what we're seeing uh then you should say because although ubisoft are never going to stop you know the they're too deep into the monetization tactics but it's still important to talk about it um because they definitely are listening i know that for a fact um where are we yeah i thought he'd go into more detail since the since he's since he's the leaker but he didn't. Again, that's I'm guessing that's why maybe Ubisoft were like too soon. Um, in May we will probably get big leaks. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, 
I do think the original AC Red leak suggested we would see a re-reveal in, or oh, I just said trailer, but it's going to be a re-reveal, you know, a, a, probably a CGI trailer with the name of the game and all that. I think we'll get that in May. <clears throat> yeah, I think we will. I think we'll probably get a, some leaked footage or, or a leaked screenshot probably in the next maybe month. Or s m between, I'd say now and the end of April, I reckon we'll get something. We'll get some sort of visual leak. Uh, and then I think when it comes to May, we'll probably get a, a CGI trailer. Uh, I'm going to say probably, you know, mid mid to late May. And then I think by whatever, whenever Ubisoft Forward is this year, June something, whatever it is, 12th probably again. Uh, I think then we'll see... Uh, a gameplay presentation and it will be very pretty much the same as they always do it it was only a little bit different with mirage because they announced it at a weird time and then they delayed it uh but i i, I they're not going to delay this one i I'm, i'd be shocked if they delayed this one um may is so close already lol it feels like mirage just released but it's already been half a year literally literally it does feel like it's been uh, not that long since Mirage came out. It's almost been half a year. Yeah. I'm actually working on a Assassin's Creed Mirage five months later video. That's hopefully going to come out tomorrow. Um, it's not going to be a massively long video. But it's just sort of going over post-launch con post content. Um, you know, is the game better now? What's the game? What was the reception of the game when it came out? This is for the sort of people who haven't played yet maybe. Or, or have but want to, is it worth coming back to? You know, it's going to be that sort of video. Um, so hopefully that comes out tomorrow. I've uh, pretty much finished scripting it. It won't take me long. I'll probably finish it up later. And then I'll, uh, I'll hopefully get out tomorrow, if not Sunday. Um, was what, uh, Why was Mirage first trailer released so early? Compared, well, that's what I'm saying. It was released so early compared to, ever, compared to other AC games. Because originally, they were seeing it as such a side game. They probably didn't have faith in releasing it at the same time of year. Uh, their idea was to release the game in, I think it was meant to be like April 23. It was like Q1 or Q2 of 2023. And then it kept getting closer and closer to that time. And we weren't seeing anything. And it got became so obvious we weren't getting the game at that time. And they were staying radio silent. But then eventually uh, they came out that saying it was delayed. And then, and then they just went to back to their usual schedule of, you know, gameplay in June, um, and then a release at the end of the year. So, that was the only reason the CGI one came out, like, in September of 2022. I think if they were going to do their standard uh, release schedule for Mirage, it might have even got just released in the beginning of 2023. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at my points, what I was saying. We, we've gone over MTX shilling. <laughs> we've gone over no physical games. I, I'm reading my list right now of points to talk about. Yeah, I've gone over that it confirms Ubisoft's bias, that MTX equals good game. And it, and it paves the way. Yeah, okay, here's one point that leads into what I was saying. Is the lighting so bad? I feel like it is. I, what do you think? The lighting. She doesn't. She doesn't care. She's. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah. So I feel like again. Ubisoft. They're doing. They. They. They used to pave the way when it came to gameplay mechanics and stuff like that, and their open world design. But now I feel like they paved that. They paved the way, behind the scenes. In, on the business side of things because I feel like a lot of companies that might not have otherwise done this will see pro let's be honest infinity is going to be successful whether we like it or not it's, it's just going to be because you know the mainstream that just see a game and they buy it and they play there's going to be so many of those and because infinity is going to be offering so many Assassin's Creed games um, at a fairly rapid rate, it's gonna it's gonna make them a ton of money, and a, and again, they're gonna make a lot of money off MTX. 
So I feel like it paves the way for a lot of companies that might not otherwise have gone that route to go down that route when they see the success. Now, I feel like, in my opinion, overall, you know, Ubisoft in that regard is quite a is quite negative for the gaming industry because they're almost pushing everybody down that that sort of um, corridor of of business 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 rather than let's create something great and we know people will buy it because it will be just great it's it's more let's see this as just a a a product rather than a rather than a story to tell and a great time to be had so i feel i feel like yeah after infinity releases i think infinity will be the aside from fortnite I think Infinity will be the biggest like single player live service we've ever seen. Uh, I think it will change a lot of things, and I don't think it will change them for the good. I think it will change them in a potentially a negative way, and uh, and that is worrying. That is worrying because I, I feel like I'm just rehashing things I've said. But what what do you guys think? I, I want to hear. I want to hear from you guys. Let, drop some drop some fat paragraphs on what you think do you agree with me do you disagree you know what what's your take on infinity um and we'll, i'll read it out and that'll probably you know we'll, we'll we'll get talking about that um i do apologize to everybody i haven't really been reading the chat as much because i've just been very much talking about this um hidden one's still here imagine the mystery imagine the mystery remake in assassin's creed rebellion <laughs> For, uh, I am. I have no context to what you were talking about there. I think it's time for my second Coke Zero. Feeling thirsty. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It better still be fizzy. Frick yeah, bro. I love a Coke. That one's a bit got a bit left in it, but it's kind of just like the icy water. You know what I mean? Um, could be oh the second, the second remake. Oh, I see what Hidden One's saying. Imagine the mystery, re- the second unknown remake in Infinity is Rebellion, bro. Imagine it's like Aguilar. Altair, Ezio, Yusuf, and Leonardo—they all do a team up in uh, in Venezuela, and they have to collect five thousand codex pages. And when they collect all the codex pages, it it all starts floating up in the air, and it all forms into one big codex page. But then it folds over in the shape of a, a sphere, sphere, and it turns into the apple of Eden. Like that's literally like what it would be <laughs> at this point. Uh, um. It could be an AC2 remake because Ubisoft is making Black Flag, remaking Black Flag, which was <clears throat> one of the most successful ones, like like AC2, which would generate more hype. Yeah, I get that. I, I do get that. I I, I, I see the uh, I see the thought process you have in there. You know, the AC2, Ezio's the beginning of Ezio's journey, one of the most pop, well, the most popular Assassin's Creed character. You'd want to do more with him. That being said, I feel like it would be very market- marketable to be able to remake the first game and be like, you know, we're remaking the original Assassin's Creed in in modern graphics. That's a very clickable, that's very, that can generate a lot of hype, you know, where see where it all began and all this. But that being said, I, I can see it being an AC2 remake as well. Um, I, I can definitely see that. Now, to what point would they remake it? You know, would they, would they do new voice actors for Ezio? Oh, duh, nah. I, I, it would. That would be too much. But you know, what I mean, like, what would they do? Um, I can see an AC Fortnite crossover happening. Disney and Epic are already doing one, so why not Ubisoft and Epic? Didn't they already do it? Didn't they do an Ezio in Fortnite? Or am I being stupid? Let me look this up. I'll, if I see any pictures, I'll. I'll show you guys on screen. I swear there was Ezio Fortnite. Or was that like AI? Was that an AI image I just saw? I swear it was. This Yeah, this is what I saw. How to unlock Ezio Auditore in Fortnite. Uh, I'm making sure I haven't got anything 
sensitive on screen before I switch it over. I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Okay. Um, react. <laughs> For God's sake, why is it done that? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm still here. I'm just trying to get to the right bloody page. Uh, give me a give me a sec. Give me a sec. Uh, is this the one? Right? Here we go. There you go, guys. Can you see? Here we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So, yeah, this was a thing. AC in uh, Assassin's Creed Fortnite. I, this is real, right? How to unlock SEO in Fortnite. There he is, bro. Kawaii. Kawaii. <laughs> this is the SEO you, you're going to get in, in an AC2 remake. This is him right here. <laughs> oh, can you even see it? Hang on. Wait. Oh, my screen's cut off. Hang on. Oh, I'm getting so confused right now. What is going on? Um... You can't see what I'm seeing, which is annoying. Open it in a new tab. Bro, this... Why is it over there? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Classic Exile stream, mate. Classic Exile stream. It's all like... Oh, it's because it's 4K, and... It's because it's in 4K, my monitor, and I'm streaming in 1080p, so it went, it went really big. Huh. <laughs> went big go big go big go big okay perfect okay so look this this is this is the SEO we're gonna get bro this is like what have they done to my boy what have they done to my boy then again SEO is a queen SEO is a queen so I can't really argue with that actually <laughs> but look at him uh, yeah so he's been in Fortnite he's definitely been in Fortnite I'm not let me see the chat again. Where was I? Where was he? Um WSPXL, I don't know what that means. Wall Street per Pernal. <laughs> um They did an SEO enable skin pack in Fortnite, but I mean a larger crossover, like Epic Disney crossover. Yeah, I I'm so out of tune with anything to do with Fortnite, so you I I have no idea really. Um, what the difference is between a small crossover in Fortnite and a, and a big one. Literally no idea because I've played Fortnite once in 2017 when it was, when it was, um, like, a, it was like a zombie game, I swear. Oh, I'm still on React. My bad. There we go. Um, in 2017, I played Fortnite like one time with my friend, well, one of my old friends. Uh, he was like, play Fortnite with me, bro. It's this new game. And I was like, oh, do I have to? And I, was, I swear I was like, AC Origins has just come out. Maybe. I can't remember. And uh, he was like, yeah, just go, you know, play it with me. Play it. I was like, oh, for God's sake. I was like, fine then. So I went on it. And we were like building, we were literally building forts to like protect ourselves from like zombies. And then I play, and then I see it these days. It's a completely different game. But I, let's, suffice to say, I was not a fan. Um... But I don't really play online games like that, so... Uh, damn, that was a lot of exiles, yeah. I, 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 I fricked up, bro. Um, perhaps the remake would be set in one of the alternate timelines that uh, Desmond, the reader, and Layla are watching. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I feel like if you're going to approach a, a different timeline, you just do a different story, you know? Um... One thing I was thinking, though, and I don't think I'm the first person to think this, but I was thinking the other day, if they remake AC1 or, or any AC, do they do it in the lens of, uh, you know, maybe not Basim, modern day Basim, but any modern day character reliving this these memories in their own perception? So, like, they go, this new modern day character is going in the Animus to relive, relive the same memories. Um, and maybe the animus is more reliable or, or less reliable, so things change here and there. Like, I'm not saying 
completely change the stories because they're great. But I'm just thinking, is this a plausible thing that Ubisoft might do? Well, we want to remake AC Black Flag, but we want a different voice actor. We want, um, you know, the world's going to look a lot bigger and different different story elements might be into, interwoven. And obviously they're going to involve a load of side quests that weren't in Black Flag. So for the Black Flag remake, maybe, and also the Black Flag modern day was trash, bro. It was so bad. So, and they know that. So maybe they scrap that modern day and they think, let's do a new modern day. Let's do a modern day that's going, you know, interwoven with the current modern day, which is according to rumors uh set in like 2090 something oh i appreciate all the hearts and stuff coming in right now i'm seeing like hearts on my screen just like floating around i appreciate that keep them coming bro keep them coming <laughs> um so you know maybe there'll be a new modern day protagonist that we played with in ac red and maybe after that they have to then go back to the caribbean to experience edward kenway so then we get this different take on the story and it's still a remake, but it's uh, it's more it's more of a rebirth. I don't I've not played Final Fantasy Re Seven Rebirth, so I don't know if that's a good play on words or not. But you know what I'm saying. What's your thoughts? Chat. Uh, what is your thoughts, chat? Um, they did an Ezio. Oh, I already read that. <laughs> Lol. Uh, <laughs> Kind of like the AC universe collides with the Fortnite omnibus. <laughs> God, you're making me want to literally like jump out a window not right now, man. <laughs> because I could see that happening between Infinity and Fortnite. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put it past you. Maybe in multiplayer. I see that happening in multiplayer. I don't see that happening in a single player AC game. <laughs> Some guy just screamed outside my house. He was like, ah. Um. Oh, the hearts were me. Thanks, Gabriel. I still don't know if I'm saying your name right. Can you do it phonetically? You know, like gay hyphen a hyphen brie l. You know what I mean? Or, or the other way around? Would it be would it be g a hyphen a h ga hyphen brie? You know what I mean? Like if you spell it like that, I'll know how to say it. Cause I'm just an idiot, really, aren't I? Um, I really hope. Jom, Jom D1. I really hope they don't just ditch Basson's story, to be honest. Don't want them to finish it in a comic. Yeah, I know. I feel the pain, man. I feel the pain. I really hope they don't do that either. You you know, Ubisoft was so solid with their modern day protagonist when it came to uh, Desmond. You know, it was this solid, cohesive story from start to finish. Um... And, you know, some people, you, you can argue for, for all day whether, you know, Lu, you know the thing with Lucy should have happened or not, and this should have happened or not. But what you can't deny is it was a cohesive story that had a beginning, had a middle, had an end. You know, we didn't really get that with Layla. We had a beginning, we had a weird time jump that really just didn't give any context and threw us off, and we had an end. And, you know, the, I feel like... Darby did a really good job of writing the story for Layla in uh, Valhalla. And I think she was done a good amount of justice in Valhalla. I, me I remember it was like night and day for me. I played Odyssey and I thought, I do like that we're going out and about in modern day and doing things again. I did enjoy that. But it was very, there was there was, there was nothing to it. I did, it you know, it, you, ha you have this time jump from Origins to Odyssey with Layla. She's done all this stuff off camera. You don't know where she's really at. You didn't get to see that character development. So you don't have that sort of connection to her like you did with Desmond. You saw Desmond grow. And you grew with him. You didn't do that with Layla. So it was very hard to sort of get a connection to her, I think. Um, on top of that, I think, you know, the writing for her wasn't uh, amazing. But then, again, when it came to Valhalla, I do think Layla was actually written pretty well. I think her character was portrayed pretty well. Uh, and it would it, I just would have liked if she had that sort of level of writing through Origins and Odyssey as well. Uh, but yeah, I think I think sort of they wrapped it up as best as they could. You know, Darby finished uh, that, the story for her as best he could, salvaged it well. Um, and obviously now with Basim, it's like, OK, is he a modern day protagonist or is he not? Like, 
it's been left up in the air what we're going to see with him. I, well, if it does go to 90, 70 years in the future with modern day, we know that Basim currently uh, has, has, he's already got a prolonged life and he's effectively immortal as long as he's, he's got the staff near him at least. Just like Cassandra was. Um, and just like Layla was for a time. So he, he, he is immortal, you know, so he could live to 2090, he could live on and on and on. So he could definitely be the main protagonist, a uh, modern day protagonist of, of any Infinity game coming. Red, Hexa, anything. That being said... I just threw up the technical difficulties page because I wasn't sure what's going on. I like disconnected for a split second, but I think we're back. Yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. I don't know how much you guys missed. How long was I gone for? Like, let me know. I don't know how long I was gone for, so I don't know. I don't know what where I cut off. If I need to repeat anything. Um. You are pronouncing it just right ah oh, get gap gabrielle yeah it is right like gabrielle iglesias i don't know who the hell gabrielle iglesias is to be honest um except that i am not mexican okay he's mexican okay um not you gabrielle iglesias who i don't know uh if you want if you want to pronounce it in dutch how it's meant you have to practice a lot i won't embarrass myself by trying right now um Jorm says, oh, he has the staff, right? Yeah, yeah, from what I understand, Basim does. And it speaks to him, right? I can't remember. It's been a while. I think so. Um, streaming seems stressful. <laughs> nah, it's all right. It's, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy sitting down, talking. It's, it's more chill than you realise. Yeah, you, you know, you... you you get you get a, a technical difficulties page here and there, but you know it could it could be it could be worse. You know I've had more stress connected again. I think we're good now. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing this. I do sincerely apologize, um, but I, I don't know. I, I I really don't know. I don't know what's going on. While I've got my camera in my hand, shall I show you guys my game collection? Shall I show it to you guys? I'm gonna show you guys my game collection. My house is a bit messy. I need. It's got mad bottles everywhere, so I'm, I'm not gonna show you. I'm just gonna keep showing my face, and then I'll get. Oh, oh. here's my game collection, guys. Oh. Wait, you guys, you guys aren't going to be able to hear me on the mic. Hang on. Okay, guys, basically, basically, I'll show you my game collection, but I don't know if you're going gonna to be able to hear me on the mic. So I'm going to show quickly and just speak really loud, okay? So, we have got my PC games and my GameCube game right here. And then we have PlayStation 3, a bit of Assassin's Creed. I don't know if you can hear me. And then we've got Oblivion, the Saboteur Japanese edition, classic. PS4 games, PS2, PSP, etc. 360, 360, OG Xbox right there, OG Xbox. I'm going to make a video on Prince of Persia soon, I don't know when, 
Um, we got we got the Wii, we got the we got the DS, we got the Steam Deck, we got this weird like weird flying thing. We got Harry Potter on the PS One. We got AC Revelation Special Edition, and we got we got a few things here that I uh, I need to put in there somewhere. And we got we got Crash, PS Vita. Okay, okay. That's what we've got. Oh, that's what we've got. What do you guys think about that? You guys got a game collection? Let me know what your favourite game collection game is. I don't know if you could guys could actually hear me, but I was trying to be loud so you, you could hear. But yeah, I don't know if you could. Alright, I feel like we, we should move back on to... Uh, what's it called? Infinity. We should move back on to that. The last stretch of the stream. Um... I think the Templars are hacking him. Yeah, probably, mate. They probably it's probably Ubisoft. They're trying to silence me, bro. If I disappear, it was Ubisoft. But I won't. I won't. I won't. <laughs> um, they discovered you have <laughs> Isu blood. Now the exile is gonna is gonna be the new modern day protagonist. Yeah, I was making. Ah, oh, let me show you guys. I was making. Some, I was doing some AI images, right? And I was trying to get my face on an Assassin's Creed character. It really didn't turn out well. It really didn't. But I'll show you guys because it's funny. Chloe, is the stream still going? Okay. Because it's being really slow when I'm trying to load stuff. It just seems... To We're all good, are we? Okay. I'm going to show everybody these photos. Okay, guys. Um... This is, look, uh, we got these photos. I was trying to get my own face. Can you see the, the, the resemblance? It kind of is. Similar hair. Kind of worse. I don't know. My hair's not the best anyway, but th this one looks a lot like me. This one does look a lot like me. Should I try and zoom in? Can I do that? Uh, I'm looking for a window. There we go. I'm trying to zoom in a bit so I can show you guys there we go so we got we got this one of me uh what do you guys think what do you guys think oh why is it moved there we go there we go um oh why have i done this then there's me i basically i copy a lot of the prompts from like for inspiration or i i try and take inspiration for other things i've seen to come for cool photos we got this one. This one is not... That is not me, bro. That is me if I was a medieval peasant who has just survived a long winter. A long, harsh winter. Like, that... I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> me if I ate McDonald's, like, every day and I survived a harsh winter. Um, this one is, like, honestly disgusting. Like, what the... What is this one, bro? The armor looks cool, but I don't know what's happened to the hood. And I don't know why I look like a, a weirdo, mate. This one, it kind of looks like me. They all kind of look like me, don't they? But, like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, they kind of make me look like a Viking raider as well. Um, this one's kind of cool. It doesn't really look like me. But there you go. Uh, that one really doesn't look like me at all. That one, is that's, that's someone else. That's not me. This one, <laughs> this one is probably the most insulting. It looked at my face and it said, yeah, th you look like this. I'm not a fan of this one. Uh, and then the, oh, This one, I just look like a massive crackhead. Look, I look like I'm in a crack den and I'm a crackhead. Like the smoke as well and the weird curtains and the weird face I'm putting. Like, nah, I, I, I don't, I don't like that one. And this. Nah, I have no words for that one, really. That one is awful. That one kind of looks like me more, a little bit. Kind of looks a lot more like me. Um, yeah, I'd say that one probably looks the closest to me. That's me, apparently, as well, but I can't really see it. I can. That one looks like me. Chloe, look, have a quick look, Chloe. Don't you think that one looks like me? If I was obese, if I was obese she just said... <laughs> No, but like, no, no. I'm, I'm at this rate, eating you know, all those McDonald's, I will be, so. There's me sat on a bench. I don't really know if that's meant to be me. 
um, that's meant to be me and I think that was it so there you go that's me if I was an AI assassin um, let me see what you guys are saying about that um, nobody said anything <laughs> pretty much <laughs> Uh, then again, I'm still looking at the like the the stream is a few minutes delay. Oh, not a few minutes, but it's about it's about twenty seconds on a on a twenty second delay. So, Exile <laughs> Short's voice is coming out. Hidden one says, "I don't did I was I? I don't even realize." God, did you know this was my face? If it was AI, subscribe for more AI faces. Um, all right, let's let's get talk about our f final few topics for today. I don't know where my doc's gone. Where's my doc? Docs.com. Docs.google.com. Right, a few more things I wanted to say. Really, there's not, to be honest, actually. Well, let's end it with this. <clears throat> Overall, is Assassin's Creed Infinity good for the consumer... Or not or bad for the consumer now I think based off of what we've looked at talked about today I think it's probably it, it's hard to tell because you know there's a lot there's a lot to be said about this and there's a lot to be seen there's a lot that we haven't seen yet that it's it's going to be hard to to really know how how things go how things evolve especially in in you know five years ten years time and this is obviously going to be a long term service infinity that means forever i think overall games just like movies just like books just like music they are best left with an ending i think the best things have have satisfactory endings and if something goes on forever i think what's the point point? and i know obviously infinity is going to have separate games within it it just makes me feel like, okay, ending stuff aside, because I don't really know where I'm going with that, to be honest. I feel ending aside, overall, I think it will be, It's it. I think it's an anti-consumer product. I think it's a pro-business anti-consumer, pro, yeah, pro-business anti-consumer product. And I think people will eat it up. And people won't. But I think the majority of people will eat it up. And I think the more that the gaming industry moves in this direction, the more normalized it's going to be. And the more people will get used to constantly having ads shown to them in games they've already bought. Constantly having microtransactions thrown at them. And yeah, I think overall it's going to really push the gaming industry in the direction of I, I, it's, I struggle to find the words, to be honest. You know? Um, I think Gabriel, Gab, Gabriel says, I think there is a bigger chance that Infinity is going to impact the AC community negatively than positively. Yeah, I see that. I see the, I see, uh, the game. I see the hub <laughs> coming out and people being like, what is this? This is awful. Being very controversial. But I think once it settles, once lots of games come out on there and games come out that people really like on the service, people just get used to it. And that's just what it is now. It's it's a service. And I think we'll see similar things with games like Call of Duty. You know, big franchise games. I think we will see this. Um, Call of Duty. Uh, we'll probably have a live hub for that. You know, you got, you'll have your Warzone. You'll have your Modern Warfare. you have all your games on there. Um maybe even nah not G i was gonna say gta but that their, their releases are so far apart that the gaming industry literally shifts between release so i don't I couldn't really say about that but yeah your big games that release on semi-regular basis is are gonna be live service from now on and we will see a lot of change and i think we can't really predict a lot of what we'll see because it has to start happening before we can really predict where it's going to go from there. Gabriel Gabriel says it's a bit too commercial for me. Yeah, yeah, it's very much. I suppose it's almost like you go, you pay, you pay to watch a movie at the cinema, at the at the movies, at the theater, 
and you get a load of trailers before the movie and i suppose that's what the gaming is going to be like in a way you pay for your game but you'll get lots of ads in your face about other games you'll get shown or oh, buy this microtransaction just like when you go in to watch a movie you know buy this add-on <laughs> buy this slushy buy this popcorn to watch with your to, to make your experience with the film better you know it might be very similar to that you know buy this to make your game experience better do you want to get travel faster but you can't find a horse in the game because we've lost them off until level 20 well buy a buy a horse in the mtx store and you'll you'll be able to travel through the land at level one much quicker for an example i feel like that's the way things are going to go again like gabriel said gabrielle sorry it will become very more very much more commercialized and obviously as the gaming industry is becoming more mainstream uh making lots more money almost becoming hollywood if you will you know that i guess that is the natural evolution is to make it more marketable more make it more commercial now i feel like there will yeah lots of games will suffer for it we're seeing that in the ac franchise already look at a game like ac1 ac2 to up upwards to three really or more to revelations they were there to speak for themselves and they made another one because the other one did did really well but again it was to continue that story but now it's oh it doesn't matter about the story you know we'll, we'll just make loads and loads we just need to keep making them because it makes so much money and we need, we need to we need something out to be able to keep selling you extras if all if there's no movies in the theater then no popcorn will get sold, you know? So, yeah, I think I think that's kind of how it's going. And it, time will tell whether that is good or not. I think a shift needs to happen in the gaming industry where they focus more on AA games rather than AAA and quadruple A because gaming is... It's, it's, they're becoming too, too big for their own good. Valhalla's a great um, uh, example. And then also when it comes to technology and making them these big blockbuster games yeah it's becoming they're just they're spending putting more money into these games and they're making back and i think we will start to see a much more of a rise of indie games uh double a games you know the games that are still you know more more smaller more concise i think we will see a rise of that and i think it's damn near time that they do they these do get the spotlight again because i'm sick of massive open worlds with that are all the same. I'm sick of it, you know. I feel like the last good open world I explored was, like, proper big one. was probably Night City in Cyberpunk. Uh, Temeria in um, Witcher 3. Uh, pff, what else? When I'm, I, I can't think of any other games, but that aren't, you know, in the last 10 or so years. But, you know, old st I suppose a lot of you would disagree, but I would say Starfield as well. Um, uh I kind of kind of starfield um you know i i just i just don't think open worlds are really living up to what they're promising anymore and i don't think infinity's gonna help that at all i think infinity's gonna gonna you know make make that worse make that more of a talking point where but then again because of games like infinity services like infinity we will see these smaller devs rise up with their games that people have been missing these more to the point games these more games that are made because they the company really want to make games uh and they're smaller teams etc i think we will see a rise of those once again so yeah i i, I don't know what else to say um jo well, i'll just say what jorm's been saying because he's and everyone else um jorm agrees with with gabrielle uh, it doesn't sound appealing to me, but you'll get it for red. Yeah, that, that's the thing. We all complain, but we're, we're all going to get it, aren't we? And they win. <laughs> well, they better spend extra money making AC even better, Jorm says. <clears throat> Chloe says, game over for some reason. I, I, don't really, I think that's basically her saying, can you end the stream now? <laughs> she she wants me. <laughs> Not like, no, I didn't. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to be quiet. Um... Damn, I got jump scared by an ad. Oh, I do apologize. Um, yeah, I put I, I do. You know, you put ads in front of your videos, 
and I think I think um, it asks me when I schedule a stream how do you want to place your ads and I do balanced I don't do high frequency because it's not going to make much of a difference in earnings for me and it's just going to piss you guys off so I just put like the lowest amount as I can in I think it's just like one in the middle if I do an hour um, and I, I think it's sporadic depending on different viewers like some of you will get ads at a certain time some of you will get ads at a different time so it doesn't like cut everybody off at the same time if I'm if I think that's how it works um, yeah all right guys I think I think I'm gonna leave it there I'm all talked out I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about I feel like we, we all had a good conversation going in the chat in the chat and yeah it was good it was good i saw i apologize for the moments where we cut out and we had to throw it to technical difficulties but you know that's a classic xol stream it is what it is if you don't have something like that in one of my streams then there's something wrong because yeah so yeah oh i'll, I'll show you guys this i mean it's in it's in the background of my latest video but ac3 uh special edition rise i saw this in uk game store sex yeah i know it's literally called sex i'm not even joking and people say oh no it's actually kex or cex but i'm telling you you watch the tv adverts for it it literally goes sex so yeah there you go i bought it there for like 15 pounds or something which would be like 18 dollars something like that okay guys uh nice stream man keep it up i will keep it up and I appreciate you, all of you watching today, sticking by, having a bit of fun, whatever you're doing, whether I'm in the background or I'm your full focus, I appreciate it regardless. Uh, yeah, had a good time. I am ready to eat the rest of my chicken selects um, and finish my Coke and, ha and just chill and just chill. All right, guys. I love you guys, mate. The father of understanding God is, I will see you soon. Goodbye, but I'm I'm still here, but you know what I'm saying. Alright, I'm gonna end it now. Go see you later guys. Thanks again. Bye. There we go.